Mikey here from the crochet crowd.com hate with another tip on changing colors so I've covered the idea of bearing in your yarn and I've covered the idea of cutting out your knots and bearing in your yarn so this time what I like to do the best and this is the ultimate best that there is and as far as I'm concerned is actually using a darning needle and changing your yarn so let me show you how to do that so I'm gonna come up to the end and I want to finish off completely so I'm not going to carry my yarn up I'm just going to finish this off and I'm going to start my next color on top so I'm going to go right into the very last stitch just like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this yarn and I'm going to cut it so I have a little bit of extra so it's longer than usually the eight inches that I have and then I use my scissors and cut so what I'm going to do is I'm still going to do the same principle where I'm going to wrap the yarn around the hook and pull all the way through and then I just pull snug. So ideally what you should do, and this is the best and it will never fall out on you at all, is that you get your darning needle and you get one with a nice pointy edge to it. Don't stab yourself. Those are never good times. Don't want to get blood on your on your uh, project. So you're going to just feed in your your yarn into the needle. So the project can never stretch in three directions at one time so it'll never ever fall out. So what you want it to do is just sink down into the stitch and the reason why it's pointy is that you want it to get trapped inside the fibers itself. Okay and I go up underneath so yeah you get a nice clean edge on the top and I come out and I go about an inch and I pull through. Now what you want to be very careful is when you pull through you don't want to be too tight with this. So don't keep pulling and pulling because it'll just um, deform your project. So now the trick is, is that you have to go back in the direction that you just came from. But this time you want to go into somewhere slightly different than where it's popping out and just put the needle in and go back in the direction that you just came from. If you go back in the same exact path, it will not get stuck inside. It'll just pull out, okay? So now it's gone there. And finally, you have to go one more time. And again, you're gonna come in somewhere slightly different, again, underneath, into the fibers, and then out. Okay, and you pull on it like this. And ultimately, you can hide in your yarn. You have not messed with your stitches on the top and then you can just safely trim out your yarn. So what I like to do then is that I start up my next one. So let's go with red again. So I'm gonna turn my project and I'm going to start off my, my red. And I start off in the same way as that I do a slip knot to begin. It's just peace of mind. It's the way I like to do it. Everybody has their own unique way. You go into the first stitch, wrap it around, just like I did before in the other video and you pull through. And then I'm going to leave the straggler down on top so you still will have that one and you'll chain up three because it's double crochet because that's what I'm doing. And then you're just going to move along. And so when you come along the top of it here, you want to take this straggler and you want to put it out, down on top so it'll trap it underneath the stitches and so forth. Also what you can do if you choose to is that if you leave this string to be much longer and you prefer to put a darning needle onto that if you leave this much longer and then you can just uh, use a darning needle and trap it underneath as well but you'll want to trap it within the red section not within a different color um, because then it will be very obvious that it's kind of there. So this is how I would do it. This is ultimately the best way to change your yarn. You'll never have it falling out. So if you ever put things through a washing machine and you have these tails coming out, um, the darning needle is the best way to go. So you have to consider what you're crocheting and the use for it. And especially with kids projects, you don't want anything ever falling out. And then of course around the back, you just have to adjust everything and then trim off your yarn right there. And that's good to go. Like so. And that's what I would do in order to, to do it using a darning needle technique, just like so. So that's what I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. And it's Mikey on behalf of the crochet crowd.com. <laughs>